I would like to ask the Minister for Environment, Food and Agriculture what his policy is on the spread of non-Indigenous species, including A, wallabies and B, feral goats, and whether his department is reviewing its policies on public safety or animal welfare grounds. Call the Minister to reply, Mr Boot. Uh, thank you, Mr President. The 2015 Biodiversity Strategy acknowledged that government's policy on deliberate introductions and reintroductions following the International Union on Conservation of Nature Guidance, uh, and these are licensed only in certain specific circumstances. The strategy acknowledges that once invasive non-native species become established, a cost-benefit assessment will help determine whether available control methods are appropriate or justified since in many cases eradication is simply too expensive. Instead, investment in preventing arrival is the most cost-effective way to address invasive non-native species. Taking wallabies in the context of that policy, they are clearly not indigenous, and I am aware that some landowners are expressing concern. However, wallabies are not protected, and landowners or authorised agents can take measures to control them on their land. The goats are legitimate farm stock which have become feral, though are equally non-indigenous and again a landowner or agent can control goats on their land. Turning now to public safety, the Wildlife, or, or Wild Animals Act controls the importation and prohibits private keeping of animals dangerous to the public, though neither wallabies or goats are classified as dangerous in that context. Uh, road safety is another aspect as there are occasional incidents of cars hitting goats and wallabies which can damage cars, though I am not aware of any human injury. This is no different to rabbits, hares, <coughs> uh, large birds, or indeed in the UK deer, and uh, locations tend to be well known, uh, though maybe more signage could help mitigate this danger. I am aware there is often anecdotal stories of blind or partially sighted wallabies However, overall, the population seems to be thriving and is reputed to be the strongest population in the Northern Hemisphere. Indeed, the reputation of having a thriving population of wild wallabies is seen by many as a quirky feature of our countryside, which is enjoyed by many visitors and locals alike. Finally, I can confirm the Department is not reviewing its policy on public safety or animal welfare grounds, though, as per our commitment in the biodiversity strategy, we will be bringing forward an invasive non-native species strategy in due course. Thank you. Supplementary, Mrs Kane. Thank you, Mr President. I'd like to thank the Minister for that uh, quite detailed answer. But I would, I would ask, um, is he aware that the wallabies are on the move? They've spread quite a long distance from the Kurok where they started and have been sighted several times throughout Garth. Reports from households in Laxey, um, there's one even fell through a conservatory. Motorists on King Edward Road have had to avoid them. Um, I'm, I'm just wondering, does the Minister have any awareness of exactly how many um, wallabies or wild goats actually are in the countryside? Is the department monitoring them? And does he have any concerns about the impact on the indigenous species, particularly the um, bird life? Minister. In terms of monitoring numbers, no, we don't uh, monitor numbers. Uh, most of the animals uh, are <coughs> private land, and uh, anecdotally we hear of uh, their spread, and particularly with wallabies, uh, we are aware that they have spread uh, from their original uh, escape site if uh, you put it like that. Um, wallabies have their lovers and detractors. Um, landowners have the power to control them where there is an issue. And the question is, would the community uh, support government uh, if we started to bring in a policy of uh, uh, removing or exterminating wallabies? And evidence shows in the past when we had foot and mouth disease here, when there were talks of controlling feral goats, the public won't support that. So at the moment we have uh, no intention of controlling wallabies or feral goats. 